Welcome everyone to yet another Minecraft video. Today what we'll be doing is, you see that iron farm over there, the one that I spent days doing and just didn't work. Yep, I'm going to be trying to fix it, not just by trying to mess around with it a little bit. Because basically since I've worked on this new village of mine, I learned a fair bit about villager mechanics. So I think at this point, um, I'm going to stop copying someone else's ideas and think of how to do an iron farm for myself. Um, so essentially this episode is going, not going to be like a tutorial episode, it's going to be just me messing around trying to figure out um, how to make an iron farm. Now, I think I'm in a better position to do it because um, I have tools, I don't have a toolsmith yet as a villager just because I'm missing a golden apple. But then again, do I... Hmm, I think I can, I can uh, figure that out because I don't really need a golden apple. But I don't have um, a toolsmith, but I can, you know, I have the bamboo for scaffolding. I have uh, wool, I don't really need wool, but I have, you know, trading, I have everything that I need. And essentially because um, my uh, plan requires villages anyway, and I have six of them there, and I can transport some more villages from my village, I think I'm in a pretty good shape for a proper iron farm. So, um, so let me just describe to you what the plan. First of all, let me just pause the recording just to see what is happening with my computer. Okay, so essentially my concept is now from what I've learned is that if villagers who uh, if there are enough of them and they will have professions and are properly functioning villagers, if they spot a zombie then they will um, check around them in like a radius of a few blocks, I don't know how many blocks exactly to see if there are any iron golems, then they will spawn in iron golems as part of their defense. So what I'm going to do is essentially make a village kind of thing over there. So I'm going to have a square um, where they're like, how can I explain? So there's a square and inside the square there's going to be like an area where zombies are going to run around. The zombies can see the villagers and the villagers can see the zombies. And the villagers are running around like a ring outside the square. So in that ring there's going to be beds, there's going to be fashion blocks, etc. So the villagers are properly functioning villages and that means that they're going to be able to see the zombies and be able to function properly as villages. Now again similar to this the only spawn ball area because I'm going to be placing slabs everywhere the only spawn ball area for an iron golem is going to be up there which I mean I'm probably going to build the new farm in the same area just so um, I can uh, you know utilize some of this but the only spawnable area is going to be up there and then they're going to fall and die over here. So the collecting system in itself is quite good. Let me just throw a torch in there. One second. I think once an iron golem actually dies, it'll be lower down so it will actually um, collect properly. That's the hope anyway. So, what do I need to do first of all? So first of all, I need to clear my inventory a little bit. I have um, a fair few blocks from trading. Now, like I said, I know the kind of the concept behind this whoa where's my sword ah oh, well i want to buy a sword um so i know the concept behind this but like i've said i still like with everything i've done so far in my cup there's going to be a few things i'll need to iron out so essentially this is like i said it's going to be um a learning experience for myself as well that's the armorer it's going to be a learning experience for myself as well um, as you know a teaching experience but I mean to us I still don't know why that um, farm doesn't work or does work and then it stops etc but the plan is just to have loads of zombies up there and uh, a fair few villagers I might have um, a farmer villager or I might have some form of a breeding system some form of a breeding system up there just so I can uh, also breed villagers as well so that, of course that will require beds and so on and so forth. So what will I need? I will need to, like I said, clear out my area. Whoa, that is a lot of chicken. And I have far, far, far more elsewhere. Oh dear, I'm running out of spaces for my chicken. Um, I need to sort that out. But of course we're in its time. So I will need uh, to put this away. So yeah, I'm going to come back to you when I am ready and we'll get started. Okay, so I've sorted out my inventory, and hopefully I should be ready to start. Let's see, it is nearly night time, but of course, I mean, this is going to take a fair while to do anyway, so uh, I expect it to be night time, I have to go to sleep soon anyway. 
Now, let me first take out some bamboo. So I think I need five for a stack of bamboo now. A stack of... Actually, I don't actually know if that's going to be enough. No, that should be enough. I have a crafting table over there. So essentially, like, um, I'm going to just make a full, uh, you know... Oh, I need six, don't I? A full uh, stack or... Actually, it's going to be six stacks of scaffolding. Just so I can uh, build my area with ease or my farm with ease the problem i had before was um quite annoyingly actually when i when the farm actually worked i go and spawned in but i didn't spawn in where i wanted it to it spawned in oh okay i've run wait one second one second one second one second what is this game okay so the iron golem spawned not where i wanted it to but rather literally on uh, the platform that I um, was building on or the area which I was building on and that meant that it uh, killed a zombie and so I had to get another zombie okay it's night time so essentially that's what I'm trying to um, avoid with the scaffolding I don't know whether the iron going to actually spawn in the scaffolding but um, it just makes it very easy to remove because all scaffolding is connected to one also as into the base scaffold then I can just break the base scaffold and everything will fall down and I can collect it and it's all easy like that so first step is I'm going to remove that central minecart area so the minecart area I don't need because like I said the zombies are going to be free roaming and so that essentially means that um, I don't need to have any complicated minecart stuff going on let me just do the scaffold this is my first time actually doing scaffolding um, on camera as well I think I can climb up it, because I can. Good. This is weird. This is this is a new block as well. Um for me. Let's go up a bit. Okay. So the villagers I'm gonna keep here. The reason for that is because um there's a... oh come on, how how do I add up? Do I like... Yeah, there we go. Okay. The reason I'm keeping the villagers there is because... Um, oh dear. Because... What? what the, one second. How does scaffolding work? Hmm. Either way. And the reason I'm keeping the villagers up here is because I don't want them to, you know... Uh, had them running around so they're contained and I think I'm going to have the village actual area the village area in like at the same level as they are so if I just actually let me let me use a scaffolding instead if I this up and two good okay so that essentially means that um, once I release the villages it'll be able to run around exactly where I want them to Nope, nope. <sighs> I mean, I think I have feather falling on this. Feather falling one. I don't think that would have saved me. But, uh, I mean, you can see the scaffolding is useful if I can actually get up it. Um, so that's, that's like a nice thing. That's because that's like the reason I'm making this episode. I'm not really feeling my best. I'm quite tired. But I'm making this episode because I know that I, um, it shouldn't take too, too much effort because it's quite a simple concept. I have, um, you know, I have the ideas and that should you know, mean that it works properly. I don't actually know whether it will work properly or not, but of course, um, we have yet to find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially build a one, two, three, four, five, six. And actually, you know what, you know what? Instead, I'm going to actually build a square, a full on square from here from around like here to over there and just you know come back to you when I finished it okay so just before I show you the platform you can see here that I've done and uh, I've moved them around I've changed my lava position or settings so of course I have my mango blocks and the minecart underneath this works perfectly I tested it out it works very well and now the platform so the platform isn't yet finished uh, I hate scaffolding platform isn't yet finished so I made a 25 by 25 square now I made a slight mistake in that the middle section should be ideally uh, 
would be cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Luckily, I realized that because of my feather falling, I'm, I'm going to die if I fall from those heights. But um, the platform, the middle part should be slabs to prevent iron gomes from spawning in there, which I haven't done yet. Of course, I will do that um, soon. But apart from that, we have also another problem, which is that villagers, when they sleep, they uh, tend to uh, they sleep. They tend to go and then uh, spawn back in somewhere else. Now the thing is, you don't want that really to happen because uh, you don't want them running around all over the place. Now what I've also done is I'm making like a slight area where the iron golems can fall through. So again, similarly to how I said before, you want the the only place for dying going to spawn to be on that um, water platform over there so then they just fall down into there and not into the lava this time but into the bank, uh, magma blocks so if I then do this to the other side let me just uh, okay two three now after this this should be all good we should be fine but yeah as you can see we have a villager here just running around don't want that to happen Okay. I don't want the villagers to just be going all over the place. Okay. That is so annoying. Okay, we yeah, at least caught one villager. Come on. Okay, well, take your time. You're still going to be caught. Um, okay. So, we... This... And then after I fill out or so make this hole, I'm going to then uh, put in a few, uh, well, basically fill out this uh, whole area where zombies are going to be um, with slabs. Because, like I said, the only small ball place for iron gomes I want there to be is um, over there up here. So I will see you soon. Okay, so what I've done is I've made myself a nice zombie section. I've covered the top with slabs. Uh, slabs are there because I don't want any iron gum spawning on top of the block from the zombies because obviously in the sun the zombies will burn. I've also fenced off the area so then iron gums can fall through without being disturbed. I also put down carpets over here just so again iron gums can't spawn in here. Now I couldn't really be bothered to break it all up and replace it with slabs so I'm just putting down carpets. It also means that my sheep farm is also uh, useful. Now you can see I made a small farm here which I might break because I think iron golems can spawn on these dirt blocks and that will kind of, you know, be beyond the point, I don't want them spawning there. But that's just because um, I would like the villagers to automatically increase the population. So unfortunately one of the villagers like jumped off the edge and was turned into a zombie villager, the idiot. Um, so I had to set up a quick breeding thing and that worked. You can now see there's like a baby zombie over there. So that's just to get the population up to six. And then I have nine beds, so the population can go up to nine. But obviously I can add more beds and quite easily the population can go up again. So you can see here that I'm placing down carpets, which are objects that mobs cannot spawn on. So again, I'm, all I'm doing is reducing the area and that zombie, uh, that the, uh, what do you call it? The iron gums can spawn to into like a finite area where is basically up there so then they can only spawn in over there oh come on mm -hmm. and that's just the plan and hopefully it should work so see you soon okay so as you can hear behind me my iron farm is finished and working so like I said I needed to put magma blocks but I'll now go and explain basically how everything works so let me just put up this scaffolding here that I've uh, got oops sorry go up the scaffolding that I've conveniently placed and up and up and up okay I have actually still kept my railway contraption still up there which I will now remove so essentially as you can see okay that is a jump uh, let me just move this quickly boop 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 um, beep, boop boop okay and I can probably afford to uh, break this as well because I can go up this fence and okay come on okay all right so essentially what we have is uh where's the other village where's the other zombie one second there's meant to be two zombies 
Ooh. Ooh, that is not good. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so as you can see, it's not yet perfect 100%. I will probably have to fix that in one second. Okay, so hopefully I've fixed um, that slight issue. The iron farm, just for me building it, works perfectly. It is slightly inefficient, but by that I mean the iron golems don't spawn really frequently, but they do spawn and it does work and all of the items are collected. So, all in all, the whole system does work. So as you can see, I haven't yet um, put in the uh, new zombies yet, but let me, I can still talk about it until it gets night time, I can still talk about the basic theory behind it. So, in order for villages to um, spawn in, iron gomes are a few set conditions so first of all they need to be you know proper functioning villagers so that means having a profession and a bed and that means they need to have before something i'm going to have slept in the past um few i don't know minutes and also have worked at their, uh, at their workspace they're also required to gossip with other villagers so in order to do that they need to have at least four other villagers within 80 blocks and also they need to um, have gossiped at least five times about requiring an iron golem. That means obviously looking here and seeing there is a zombie. So, with that in mind, why all the carpets? So the carpets basically, like I said before, just to eliminate any other possible spawning area for an iron golem apart from here on the water. So I put carpets in here on the fences just in case and inside where the zombies are because that's the last place I want iron golems to spawn in. And I've also put carpets on the sun blocks for the zombies so I tried using helmets but apparently I didn't know but they have a durability so after a fair while or a certain time and um, they break and then the zombie dies so that is that now you can probably have tell, uh, told you know, seen wrong um, that I have before I had like a six magma blocks there now I have nine so you can see I've extended my area a little bit because iron gums comes pawned in here or fell through here before that wasn't too much of a deal but now it is for some reason i have no clue why so yes yeah, so it just took me a while but it was more fun to make the other iron farm because it was quite obvious with this what went wrong so you know uh iron golem spawning in the wrong space or wrong places that was actually the main one just me making sure they could only spawn up there and there was also the later problem of where iron gooms fell and they fell on this fence so that's why I moved it one block this way and that means I had to reconfigure my rail cart or mine cart rail system and that works by the way this, this is all fine so this is good now you can tell it is nearly night time and something else is that I wanted the zombies not to despawn for some reason even though they were holding items they sometimes despawned so I've got two name tags because now I can get name tags um, not that cheaply compared to other stuff but if I go through here I can uh, trade with this villager 13 emeralds for one name tag, which is decent. Now, um, I tried to name my zombie something big and scary, so I went for fart number one and two. Um, hopefully, that should uh, scare the villagers properly and they should be spawning in like four or five iron golems at a time. So, this is my other village. Loads of people without a profession just because um, I have far more beds than required. So, I just have them all go into their beds just so I can. Oh, it doesn't really matter if any villagers here die it's because villagers over here aren't the ones that I really like the ones with the good um, trades those are downstairs and like if they die I'll be pretty surprised and also quite sad but hmm. villagers also spawning cats you can see there's a cat here I've given up trying to tame every cat I just like it how there are loads of cats just all over the place so what we're now going to be doing is waiting around for a zombie to appear. So zombies usually are attracted to this because I believe this counts as a village or at least there are villages here. Now this is a good thing that it does actually count as a village because um, soon I'll be initiating a raid and I would like to preferably have uh, defend this village instead of any other village that might be harder to defend because Apart from the Vindicators, not Vindicators, the Evokers, and most specifically the Vexes, and also I think their trap thing, um, nothing at all can damage the villagers, and raids are lost when either all the beds are destroyed or all the villagers are killed. So, there is that. Okay, so you can, sound, you can now see it's night time, which is all good. I have a new trick for placing minecarts on villagers. All I do is I go up here, 
uh, do this and bang they're in the minecart of course with the shields uh, I can uh, block any attackers and push them up the cart so that is all good let me move this and let me put this 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 good okay so I've just blocks just in case I need to block off anything okay so now as you can see it is night time I'm waiting around for zombies but like I said they are naturally attracted to this village over here however that does mean that there are huge amounts of zombies often who are coming at a time so that's why I have my axe because I don't want to kill every single zombie I see especially with the sweeping edge attack so uh, I have an axe for pinpoint accuracy okay I'm now just my horse keeps just moving away from the pond it's like horsey no horsey no where are you horsey there you go stay here horsey like he's been all over the place he's gone to the forest he's gone everywhere um but no he's just stay here i mean i can't bother to get a fence and tie him up which is my fault okay Boo -boo. let's see if we can find a zombie now i have two zombies here just because i think it's more efficient um however one thing i do realize is that if two zombies are constantly chasing villagers then they might not have an opportunity to actually either work or sleep or both and that means after a certain time or there will be zombies and there will be villagers no more iron golems will spawn in and at that point i think i might just um kill off a uh, zombie because that means i still will be getting uh, iron just um just uh, at a slower rate but apart from that like okay probably cut the video here and wait for zombies to appear okay so i have seen two zombies and they have also seen me which is excellent so now I'm going to just wait for them to uh, come over here. Now the problem with this is that my horse is gone. Oh my god, this horse, man, this horse. Maybe he's attracted to my cat. Oh, bye, kitty. So the problem, problem with me having this contraption around here. Ah, wait, one second. A zombie is nearly here. So the problem with me having my contraption around here is that the zombies, if they don't see me, will be immediately attracted to the villagers. Thank you. I mean, don't. <laughs> Alright, so you know what I'm going to name him now. Part number one, okay, and oh come on, no, 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 don't, don't tell me I've wasted their name tag. Okay, come on, 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 come on. Oh wait, I've been attacked from behind as well. No, come on, up you get. There we go. Okay, we have one already. Good, good, good. Now I think there's another one somewhere. One in all, golden armor. That would be cool. Come on, zombie. Now, the problem with iron golems is if they get even the smallest opportunity to kill a zombie, they will. Because iron golems are, like, pretty... I mean, it's nice that they're friendly until you hit some of them or you hit the villager. But they are pretty, like, tough um, mobs. Okay. Okay, I will deal with him once I uh, kill the zombie. There's another zombie. Where's the other zombie? Bro. Okay, never mind then. Let me. I won't name him yet because as you saw last time, I nearly lost that name tag just because he suffocated. There we go. And I will go up as well. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Now, this farm did take a while to make, not as long as the other one. The other one took so long just because of transportation issues. So. Okay, let me name this guy. Okay, let me not. Let me get my shovel out and let me start breaking this dirt. So first of all, I'm going to put that there just so no water flows into them. It doesn't really matter apart from the fact that I have to place carpets again. And to be honest, if iron gums do spawn on um, where the zombies are, then it is the end. Let me break this. Now, iron gums shouldn't be able to go up here um, from that fence because I've never seen them ever climb a fence before. Whoa, what's this? Ah, oh, I see, okay. Luckily, that's only a small section of the uh, carpet that is destroyed, so I'll promptly put that back. Let me just do this. Okay, let me move this here, this there, this here, okay. And put down one carpet, which is a lot. Okay, fart number two. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to 
uh, go one block out like this. I'm going to break this block and then I'm going to break their minecarts with uh, this. Come on, come on. Now zombies are actually quite smart because they won't pathfind. Ooh, 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 ooh. No zombie, please stop. No, you idiot. You're actually both idiots. Ah, thank God. Okay, fine. Now zombies won't pathfind into where they can take full damage, even though they can't take full damage because of the water, but they don't think it that way. they don't think that way. They think, okay, I'm not going to go here. So even when they're chasing around villages, they will be careful not to fall. So before I had fences around here, um, but the fences they uh they trapped the iron golems. As the iron golems fell fell, they fell onto the fences and uh they basically just stayed up there. And no more iron golems were spawned because the villagers saw that they had an iron golem ready and so uh, they thought, oh, there's no point in spawning another one in. Okay, there's a skeleton, but I can sleep now. Good. Okay, and you can see I also fell whilst testing out a few things. And I died. And that's why I have low levels. Okay. So hopefully now, we'll have some iron golem spawning in. And like I said, this um, method does kind of... Uh, this method does kind of... is kind of more inefficient. So by now, with the old methods... Um, I would have already a uh, an iron golem or two or four. Oh, come on, man! What? An iron golem or bit or oh, there we go. We have an iron golem already. So you can see this this method does work. And what's great about this method is that it works really well. There's no nothing like oh it's going to work or not. So before with my old method, even though everything was there perfectly, it just didn't work, which was really annoying as you can imagine. So as you can see, the villagers are running around all over the place. But, oh dear. Uh, okay. One second, that was just, okay. Oh wait, that's my pickaxe. Yeah, okay, well, let me just, uh, let me just get my sword quickly. Okay, let me not get my sword then. Get my sword. There it is. So, as you can see, iron golems are spawning in. I don't know whether that's the original iron golem or not. Just because the mega blocks do take a while to kill the iron golems. However, just because of the fact that the iron golems are far away from the detection range of the villagers, you can spawn in multiple iron golems now. I think that's actually one did die. So you can, they can spawn in multiple iron golems because they don't detect an iron golem in their range. So what that means is essentially you can have two or three iron golems just chilling here and other ones are being uh, spawned in which is excellent so yeah there you see there's another one and they're both now dying to the magma blocks because i think they have like 50 hit points or something along those lines um they can take a fair bit of a beasting by the magma blocks but they will eventually die just because um they don't think well maybe it's smart for me to you know not be here okay so it seems like the villagers are able to um work at the workstations as you can see there and also uh sleep but that is again just because um, I don't know whether that's actually the case. Just because um, I'm here and the zombies are attracted to me instead of the villagers. Whoa. Okay. Where where was that? Oh, was that here? I think it was there. Okay, let me quickly fix that before any iron goons spawn in on that particular block with no carpet, because that is often how it works. Okay, so that was uh, that was my mistake. Whoops. Uh, so I think uh, fart number one died, but oh well. Oh, see that's exactly what I mean. I don't want them spawning in here at all. Nope, you are going to get off, get off. I can't kill him with the bow. I don't actually have any arrows. There we go, yep. Okay, one second, one second. Right, so as you can see, this, uh, this method isn't 100% yet. Let me put down carpets here. Whoa, okay. Darn good and uh, got rid of him. So it's not 100% yet, but it is um, a work in progress so far. However, I'm pretty sure that I can get it to work seamlessly. So I'm going to end the episode here. Um, next episode, we will see whether it does actually work or not. But I'm just going to essentially patch this up here. Get some um, few more zombies and uh, hopefully make it work. So thank you for watching. This has uh, been another iron farm. This time, one that actually works, and it works not like um, sporadically, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It does work properly. Of course, um, I did just make it stop working, but 
I'm still quite confident in this way. So anyway, oh yeah, and there you go, the iron gomes fell and died. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm just going to fix this up a little bit, but then uh, um, I might return to you, I might not. But yeah, so uh, see you soon.